into a season of rest. She's been carrying heavy burdens specifically for your creativity. The Lord wants to breathe on your creativity tonight. Taking pictures is easy, but I literally see you in a studio. And incidentally, this studio that I see you in is going to be on the property that you buy. Press pause, press pause, don't let me forget it. This property that you are supposed to buy this is literally a rental space. You're supposed to own this. From that, what is that, a cafe internet situation? Like that should be McNair internet cafe something. And literally, rent this whatever, multi-purpose, whatever. The point is, I, we pulled up and I said, oh, they're supposed to own this. So one of the few things that we are going to do is till the region in prayer so that Raleigh will cough up what belongs to you. And the Lord says, because you were faithful, I literally see you driving in your car, praying around the city. It's so wild. So the Lord says, son, because of your faithful heart, that you had enough faith to ask the Lord to bless a city, he says, I'm gonna give it to you. Ooh. Press pause, press play. So this studio on the property that he owns, the Lord wants to expand your creativity. You've literally reached, it's almost like a cap where it feels like your passion for what you used to create, it's not at the same level. I can do this, I'm skilled at it, but I'm just not passionate. And primarily, that has been because you feel like your hands have been tied because there's so much that you dream to do, but you're saying, I don't have the resources to do. The Lord says, son, if you will believe me, I'm gonna foot the bill. But you have to have faith to prepare. One of the things that a prophet does not only do they announce, but prophets have the ability to trigger a changing of the seasons. If you read the Bible, 
God gave man dominion over the earth. But the prophet is the only institution in the Bible who has the authority to speak to creation. Man has authority over creation. A prophet can speak to creation. Elijah, he said, I hear the sound of abundance of rain. He commanded rain. Yeah. Okay, I'm a Bible preacher, I'm sorry. If you will have the faith to prepare, the Lord says, I have the bill. So the challenge and the pressure is on tonight for you to rejog your memory because the Lord says, son, what I said to you before, I haven't changed my mind. You just got to go pick it up. Dust off that journal and notebook. Dust off those plans because the Lord says, I have the bill. I have the bill. So when you get home, you lay hands on that wife. Hallelujah. And as the priest of your home, trigger the changing of your season. Lay your hands on her. Father, thank you that the seasons have changed. She does a lot of weeping that you're not aware of. And her fear was that this up and down in her emotions was going to take her out. Tell your wife that she will not drown but there is a changing of seat. Take that. So lift your hands. And because I want you to know that it's the Lord and it's not Chardin, there are different multiple routes of impartation. One route of impartation is through the laying on of hands. Another route of impartation is through what you hear. Another impartation can be with the gaze. The man of God said at the gate called beautiful, look upon me. He said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I unto thee. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. He received impartation through his gaze. So tonight, I'm going to throw this to you. And you're literally going to feel the weight of God. He'll catch you. But I'm telling you like I feel it. You're going to feel the electricity of God that's going to power the changing of seasons. Can you stretch your hands? Let's all be intercessors tonight. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight that there is a name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and tongue confess that you are Lord to the glory of the Father. Now, Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus that you are rich, you are real. And Father, your word says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Lift your hands up, man. Joy is here. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Come on, pray them through. Receive it. Rivers of joy. Cisterns of joy. Wells of joy. Downpour of joy. Joy. Drink that in, man. Drink it in, man. Drink it in, man. Now, since we're all family here, can you open up your mouth and shout? Because the Lord located your brother tonight. Come on, shout so that Brittany can feel it wherever she is. 
Don't you ever in your life feel like you're fighting by yourself. You got an army here with you. Come on and shout. Somebody shout joy. joy. One more time, y'all sound good. Joy. joy. It is so. Press play. Raleigh owes you something. Because your level of honor is so fragrant in the heavens fathers literally will begin to drop off stuff to you I'm telling you cars soon soon property soon and it's not because you're greedy or thirsty for it but the Lord says I can trust you with it you're trusted you're trusted you're trusted you're trusted The father says, Pastor, Bishop, excuse. The father says that there's even going to be a change of seasons in your community. It's not that the community that you have are bums. He says, just as your in your personal time gleaning to diversify your financial portfolio, he says, I have to put you around where you're going. There are going to be individuals who connect with you that don't care nothing about church. but they literally have the understanding and the wisdom for where you desire to be and where you know God has shown you that you're going. I may get in trouble for this, but I'm gonna be obedient to what I hear. The Lord says that you're an apostle of culture. I don't know what it is about the word culture with you. It's almost like a creed or like a manifesto. Culture is really heavy for you. The Lord says that he has given you the grace to open the kingdom of heaven in culture. So that means you're gonna go places where a lot of religious people say that you should not be. But it is absolutely the plan and will of God. There are going to be dinner tables that you sit at where religious people will literally roll their eyes at you, but the Lord says, this is where you're supposed to be. And the Father says, I can trust you with culture because religion couldn't buy you. What people don't know is there was a season of your life where you did a lot of toil, a lot of wrestling within yourself. Faithfulness is a thing for you, but there was literally a season that was 
weighing on you and every now and then it kind of whispers to you, if you would have went that way, you would have been much further. There have even been offers that you have received that you turned down because you said, I know what God said and this has to work. Heaven trust you. And you needed to hear audibly the affirmation of the Father. Son, I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. And there's no way that you can stand and say no to the enemy and the Lord not say yes to you. Bishop, you're entering into a new era. And this era is called friendship with God. And you're literally, it's gonna shock you at first because there are some things that are before you and you've been kind of apprehensive about it, back and forth, talking with your wife. I don't know what y'all talk about, glory to God. I, don't, I feel like this is what we're supposed to be doing, but I don't know, back and forth. I'm just waiting for the clearance. The Lord says all systems are go. And you know what I'm talking about. It's an era of friendship with God. Where literally you'll place a petition before the Lord and ask him yes or no, and he'll say, is that what you want? And for somebody with a type A personality like me, that unnerves me, left or right, forward or back, what am I doing? You can have whatever you want, fam. It's here because you're trusted. You're trusted. Press pause, we're coming back. We gotta pray, but we're coming back. I've been going all across the country praying, talking about groaning. And it's so interesting because we feel like when we hear travail or groan, that it's simply just loud noise. Ow! Okay, thanks. Appreciate that. But beyond a groan being a frequency, a groan is a key. Yes? You could stay there. We're going, we're going to pray. Things open up when you groan. I have Bible for that, because y'all are looking at me in the tone of voice that I don't like when I know I have Bible. John 11, Jesus is at the tomb of Lazarus, yes? He gets there, Martha and all of them, jaw jacket. If you would have been here, he wouldn't have been die. he wouldn't have died. Da, 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 da. Beatboxing. Oh. He said to her, wait, I'm the resurrection and the life. Show me where you've laid him. Jesus goes to the tomb, tells them to roll the stone away. Yes, I'm in the text. The text then says that he looked up and he groaned within himself. And then the next thing he said was Lazarus come forth and literally what was dead walked up on him. I've discovered that oftentimes our groan is at the end of ourselves. 
whenever you reach the end of you, that's your groan. It was amazing to see the praise that went forth. And as you were praising, the Lord said, yeah, let them empty themselves of this last season. So I'm telling you by the spirit of grace that that last praise that you just gave, it was the exit of a season. And you're never going to praise from that level again. That was the last praise that you gave at that capacity level. New. There are many people who are asking for legislation. They watch CNN. Oh, we need the laws to change. And yes, lobby for it. Protest. Go for it. But what would happen if we gathered together and we started to groan and start seeing laws being changed? What would happen if we band together and began to groan and see the effects of recession subside? Groan. Many of you came in here and you know how to pray good with your intellect. But I came as a prophet of the Lord from Atlanta to tell you that this new season that you have entered into has a new requirement. It has a new price tag. And the name of the price tag is grown. There are going to be some things that you just can't pray about, you're going to have to groan it out. Even now, some of you, you're beginning to feel the expansion and the pulling of Holy Spirit. He's pulling you into the chambers of prayer. So we're getting ready to pray. One of my assignments tonight is to command this region to open up to the King of Glory. So not only am I going to pray that the heavens be open, but we're also going to dig wells tonight. Wells are symbolic of reservoirs of blessing. So literally, when you have open heavens and open wells, there's a convergence of water. That's what we call revival. Yes? He'll bring me back. I'll preach. Amen. Amen. So what I want you to do is to get into your posture of prayer. There have been seeds that these speakers have been tossing out all week. Words that they have been tossing out all week. And we're going to command the heavens to rain, to water the seed, because there's a harvest that you need to get to. So wherever you get in, how you fit in, you can walk around this building, you can kneel at this altar, But we're gonna pray. And what I want you to do, I want you to extend your hands to the Father. And I want you to begin to pour out your worship upon him. Come on. Intercession is participatory. It's so much better when we do it together. But I need you to turn the, the volume up on your adoration. 
I've never heard a silent delivery room. I need you to pour out your worship upon him. Empty your heart tonight. Come on, pour it out, pour it out. The season has been hard. But it didn't rob you of a groan. Come on and pour it out on them tonight. Push past yourself this evening. Come on and pray here. Come on. I wish I had some intercessors that'll begin to walk these aisles and pray, come on here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. A lot of times it's hard for us to pray because we have so many issues that are, are pooling up and bubbling up and welling up in our hearts. But I came to tell you tonight that the Lord wants to hear all of that. Pour it out. For his word declares that he cares for you. So you're able to cast your cares upon him. Come on, empty yourself out. Hallelujah. The Father's been waiting to hear from you. Yeah. Come on. Pour it out tonight. Come on, pray here. He wants to hear from you tonight. He wants to hear from you tonight. Father, this year has hit me like a Mack truck and I don't understand. Tell him about it. Father, they walked away and I was a little bit confused. He wants to hear about it. Father, I extended my faith and they still passed away. He wants to hear about it. Father, I'm disappointed. Father, I don't understand. Come on and pour it out, pour it out. Come on, pray it out. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. That's it, that's it. Come on, pray. Come on, pray here. Come on, MMMC. Come on. Your sound has to match the season. Come on, your sound has to match the season. Your sound has to match the season. Come on, pray. Come on, push past yourself, push past yourself. Come on, just as Mary broke open that alabaster box, come on, break it open this morning. Come on, break it open. A ledenda babasola die, a shekadenda basula die, a ledenda babasola by a day, a legadenda basola die, a mandoya denda baso, a ledenda baba. Sola day, a lam tan tan da basula daya, a shaka den den da baba so. Come on, pray. A mando ya den da baso ya day, a laga den den da basola daya, a brande be 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 so. Yeah, a mando ya den da ba ya day, a shaka den den da basula day. Come on, come on, a mando ya den da baso, 
Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. We say thank you. Before we ask you for anything, we come as an aggregation and we say thank you for everything. Thank you for health and strength. Thank you for the activity of our limbs. Thank you that we have our right mind. For when the enemy would come in like a flood, you lifted up a standard against him. And we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for keeping our families. Thank you for keeping our mental health. Thank you for being a provider. Thank you for provision. Thank you for keeping our bodies. We thank you tonight. Thank you. We thank you. And in the face of the enemy, we say the Lord is good. The Lord is good. And your mercy endures forever. Forever. Your mercy. Your mercies endure. We thank you for new mercies. Come on, pray here. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. We thank you that you have wrapped us in new mercies. Thank you for it. Thank you for your mercy. We thank you that you love us with an unfailing, everlasting love. We thank you that you're committed to us. Your word declares that if we take the wings of the morning and go to the uttermost parts of the earth, that you are there. So, Father, that tells us that there is nowhere, no place that we can go to escape you. Thank you for it. Thank you for it. We thank you that your covenant name is Emmanuel, God with us, with us, ow, with us, with us, with us. He's not fighting against you, but he's with you. He's with you. God with us. We thank you that you're not a dead God. We thank you that you're not an unhearing God. We thank that you don't just view us from afar off, but you're with us, even in the fire. You are the fourth man in the fire. Ow! Thank you for it. Thank you for it. Come on and thank him. Thank you for it. Thank you for it. Thank you for it. We thank you that you have not abandoned us. You have not abandoned us. Even God, when we couldn't trace your hand, we know that you are Abba. You are Abba. And we are accepted into the blood. So Father, we call on your name. We thank you that there is power in the blood. There is power in the name of Jesus. And we thank you tonight that the name of Jesus is not just a title, but the name of Jesus is a location. Ow! The righteous shall run into the name of Jesus. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run therein and are safe. Thank you that we are running into the ark of safety tonight. Come on here. Come on. Thank you, God. That as we lift our voices, as we lift our hands, as we tread these floors in prayer, that you are pulling us into your name. Ow! You're pulling us into your name. We thank you that misery cannot come nigh our dwelling because we are people who live in your name. We thank you that sickness, COVID, monkeypox, polio, AIDS, HIV, lupus, can come nigh our dwelling. Your word says 1,000 shall fall at your right side, 10,000 at your left hand, but nothing shall come nigh 
your dwelling. We thank you that we rush into your name. We thank you tonight that the name of Jesus is a bomb shelter. Oh yeah. And I declare by apostolic decree that now Mariah Raleigh shall be the ark of safety and the righteous shall come the heathen shall come the unbeliever shall come and they will find safety mental safety physical safety emotional safety come on and open up so i speak now to the atmosphere and to this region i take authority by apostolic decree and i stand as an apostle of the lord jesus christ and i command Riley, open up Riley, open up open 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 lift up your head oh ye gates and be lifted up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the love strong and mighty the lord god mighty and battle so i prophesy that the gates of raleigh north carolina are open to the king of glory come 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 holy spirit come 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 holy father come now descend with fire and smoke vapor and smoke on behalf of a region we welcome your presence we welcome your spirit come on and pray here we welcome you we welcome you we welcome you we welcome you and father every covenant that has been made even in the soil of this region that would cause this region to resist the spirit of god father we sprinkle the blood we sprinkle the blood over every covenant that is lodged in the ground we break it now break 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 and we command the ground of raleigh north carolina to open up and receive the spirit of god and let that the basola die and let the dead the basol and even god where there has been blood covenants that are lodged in the soil of raleigh father we thank you tonight that the blood of jesus speaks a better word than the blood of abel so we're asking that the blood of jesus go out on assignment tonight and testify on our behalf we apply and appropriate the blood of jesus on the soil of raleigh come on and pray buckets and buckets buckets and buckets of blood buckets and buckets buckets and buckets of blood all the blood all the blood what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of jesus oh how precious is the flow that makes me white as snow we put the blood of jesus on assignment tonight come on and plead the blood of jesus up and down your road i don't live here you do fight for the city we thank you god that 
every prison that has the sons and daughters locked up. Father, your word says that I have been anointed to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and to set at liberty those who are oppressed and in prison. So, Father, I'm asking that your spirit will do a reign of every grave. Oh, yeah. Every grave, every prison. God, break us out. Break, break, break. Break us out. Break us out. Break us out. Break us out. Break us out of prisons of mediocrity. Oh, yeah. Break us out. Break us out. Prisons in the mind. Break. 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 Even thought. Cognitive distortions that have lodged themselves in the minds of the sons and daughters. That's not who you are. Depression is not who you are. Suicide is not who you are. Come out, up and out, up and out, up and out, up and out. Up and out. Up and out. We rob the grave of depression tonight. Father, I'm asking that you will lose furious rebukes upon the head of grief. This unusual, unnatural grief. You've been grieving timelines. You've been grieving past relationships. But the Lord says, go forward. Go forward. Push forward. Break out. Break out. Break out, break out. We thank you tonight, God, in the name of Jesus, that you are delivering us from grief. We're asking God that you would allow your goodness to outweigh our grief. Ow! Let your goodness outweigh our grief. Let your goodness outweigh our grief. Father, we're asking tonight. That you will break the head, bust the head of disappointment tonight. I smell that. Disappointment. You're mad at God. Yes, you are. You're mad at God. You thought he should have come through this way. And he went another. But the Lord says, come out of your disappointment tonight. Come out of your disappointment tonight. You still have a purpose. You still have a destiny. You still have it. The Lord says, come out of your grief. And he even speaks like he spoke to the prophet Samuel. How long will you grieve over Saul? How long will you grieve over Saul? How long are you gonna grieve over them walking out the door? How long are you gonna grieve from being misunderstood, being rejected? Stop grieving, cause the Lord is good. It hurts, but it's still good. It left you confused, but you're still good. Come on, break your covenant with disappointment and grief. Break your covenant with grief. Break, break, break. Father, we come out of agreement with prolonged grief. We will no longer grieve over past seasons. Father, we will no longer grieve and desire and thirst after what we left in Egypt. But God, I'm asking that you will calibrate our appetite for milk and honey. Ow! Milk and honey. Milk and honey. And I promise I that the Lord is changing the appetite. He's changing your appetite. He's changing your appetite. And I 
declare that as you are in peace with Holy Spirit, that you will no longer desire what you used to desire, but he's given you new desires, new cravings, new appetites. Lift your hands here and say, God, break out in me. Pray it through. Break out in me, God. Break out in us. In the name of Jesus, God, I'm asking, as the apostle asks, that you will strengthen us in our inner man. Come on, pray that here. Strengthen us in our inner man. God, we understand that we're not going to make it unless we have strength in the inner man. It won't be your intellect, honey. It won't be your degree, baby. But it will be strength coming from within. Coming from within. Father, do it in us so you can do it through us. Oh, do it in us so you can do it through us. Do it in me. In me. Not my brother. Not my father. Not my mother. Not my sister. But it's me. Me. Do it in me. Father, I'm asking that you will do a new thing, even according to Isaiah, that says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Shall you not know it? Shall you not be aware? I will make rivers in the desert. I will make rivers in the desert. So God, I'm asking tonight that you will do a new thing in us. But also, Father, sanctify our perception. Father, sanctify our awareness. Don't let us miss your moving. Don't let us be distracted. So in the name of Jesus, I call to attention the awareness and perception of every believer. Focus, focus, focus. There's too much on the line. You gotta focus. You gotta focus, focus. I speak new levels and new depths of sobriety. Oh, sober up, sober up. You've been punch drunk. It's been hit after hit. We are troubled on every side, but the spirit of the Lord says, sober up, sober up. Be sober and vigilant. For your adversary, as a roaring lion, prowls around looking for whom he shall devour. So I say be focused. Let the power of Holy Spirit hit your level of focus. Sanctify our focus in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare that we as your sons and daughters will no longer miss instructions. We will no longer miss directions because we've been too distracted. But God, we're asking that you will do a new thing on our focus, at the level of our focus. Father, I'm asking tonight that you will begin to download the discipline of Enoch. In the name of Jesus, Father, give us the discipline of Enoch, the stamina of Enoch, the methodologies of Enoch. And he walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells me that I his own Lord just a closer walk with thee we're asking God that we will walk with you and know you in a different way God we're asking tonight that you will calibrate our steps in the name of Jesus Father your word 
word declares that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So we thank you that you are ordering our steps tonight. Lead us through the barren land. Lead us through uncertainty. Lead us by your spirit. As a matter of fact, God, I'm asking according to your word that you will give us high speed. God, give us high speed. Give us high speed so that our foot won't slip. So that our feet won't slip. Come on and pray that through here. Yeah, come on, pray. Father, give me high speed. Father, establish my steps. Don't let me slip. Don't let me fall. Come on. Father, your word declares that if I be lifted up above the earth, that I will draw all me unto me. So, Father, I'm asking that you will draw us, yeah, draw us into your love, draw us into your healing, draw us into your favor, draw us into your provision, draw us into deliverance, draw us into breakthrough. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. You're getting tired, but your groan is on the way. You're meeting the end of yourself. Push past it, push past it, push past it, push past it. The Bible declares, out of your belly shall flood. Rivers of living water. So we prophesy that living water break out, break out out of your belly, out of your belly. Go out of your belly, out of your belly, out of your belly. That's it. That's it, MMCC. Come on, out of your belly. Push past yourself. Push past yourself. The Word of God declares that the Holy Spirit will make intercession for you with moanings and groanings that cannot be honored and known by man. So let the Holy Spirit begin to pray through you. Open up your mouth. Open up your spirit and press, press, press that new level, press. How do you want more power and you don't go for it? How do you want more power? You gotta birth it out, you gotta birth it out. You can't get this power on YouTube, baby. You can't get it from a real, but you gotta open up your mouth. Push. Come on, how? Push, push it out, push it out. Holler, wail, travail, grow. Come on, push it out. Push it out, push it out. Oh yeah, some of you are coming through tonight. Come on, push it out. Come on. Come on, revival has a sound, come on. Come on, push it out. Come on, push it out. We're not gonna hide behind music tonight, but open up your mouth and push it out. Come on, push it out. Come on, push. 
Come on, push. Come on, push. Come on, push. You've been asking for a deeper level of prayer, but you got to yell it out. You got to groan it out. We want old school power, but we don't want the discipline of old. Open up your mouth and push. Oh yeah, come on Riley, push it out. Push. Come on, push. The salvation of your family is on the other side of your groan, come on. The healing of your family is on the other side of your groan. Come out. That's how you're going to win the city with a groan. Groan until the jailhouses are empty. Groan. Come on. Come on, intensity. Come on. Come on. Grow. Grow until souls come off a of life support. Grow until cancer dries up. Grow. Grow until minds snap back into their place. Grow. Grow until the heavens open. Grow. There it is. There it is. You're breaking through. You're breaking through. You're breaking through. You're breaking through. The power that you need to preach the gospel is in your grow. The power that you need to prophesy is in your grow. It's not about accuracy. It's your grow. Grow for it. Grow for it. Yep. Come on. Come on, push past yourself. Push past yourself. Push past yourself. Push past yourself. Grow. Come on, grow. Grow for your sanity. Grow for your sanity. Some of you came in here saying, God, if you don't do it tonight, I'm not coming back. If you don't do it tonight, I'm not going forward. This is the last stop. You got to do it tonight. And the Lord says, the strength that you need is in your ground. That's how you open up the heavens, grow. That's how you open up the heavens, grow. 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 Yeah. Grow. That's it, grow. That's it, grow. That's how you're gonna win the city. That's how you're gonna win the high schools. That's how you're gonna win the colleges. With your growth, Mount Moriah.
Raleigh is the epicenter of the grown. This is a house that will groan in prayer. This is a house that will groan in prayer. When Zion travails, then she shall bring forth. And I prophesy that the frequency of this house is an Calibrated uh, to the wavelength uh, of heaven. Uh, come on and grow. Yeah. Power of God, break these earthen vessels. Uh, crack us open tonight. Uh, crack us open tonight. Uh, your word says. Uh, that you won't put new wine skin, new wine in old wine skin. So we will not ask for the new wine until you give us new wine skin. Yeah. Yeah. He's building you as you grow. He's building you as you grow. He's building you as you grow. Some of you are saying it's too much. It's too heavy. I can't do it. You need a new structure. And he's giving it to you tonight. He's giving it to you tonight. Yeah. Push past yourself. Push past your limits. Push past what they taught you that prayer was. Push it out.
Come on. Tell him, put your hand in his belly. Man of God, come forth. We're birthing you out tonight. We're birthing you out tonight. I call you out of this low place. A legend of a papa so la da, you did the by your dough. A legend of a papa so, yeah, you're a preacher. And the enemy has been trying to bully you out of that assignment. And matter of fact, your heart has been so broken that you said, I'll never preach again. Not how I used to, and I don't know you. But we pull you out of that low place. Up, 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 up. Where'd the room go? Pray for your brother here. There is a mandate of new didactic authority that the Lord is giving him. I prophesy that to you. Because the Lord is thrusting him into new authority, y'all have to come up. You have been feeling the uneasiness for the last several weeks and you've been trying to figure out what's wrong with you because it's uncharacteristic it's 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 unnatural for you to feel as low and as burdened as you have been feeling some of you have even been driving in your car and literally I hear you say get off of me The Lord says that's not the devil, but it is pressure, divine pressure, 
that's forcing you to exit this level. The power of God is going to hit you. And I really don't want to do what I hear him telling me to do, but I'm going to be obedient. The power of God's going to hit you. And your preaching will never be the same. For many of you, you have been wrestling from a theological perspective because you feel like your preaching is starting to go off grid, meaning you have a manuscript, but you're starting to hear more of the prophetic word of the Lord. And you're saying, no, I'm not a prophet, but the Lord says, that is indeed my hand pulling you into a deep well, a river of revelation. One thing that comes with open heavens is keys. And I'm telling you that each one of you, the Lord has given you keys to unlock mysteries. Think it not strange when random people start dumping their life story on you. You're not, you can't escape this. What the Lord is getting ready to do in you is he's about to dig a new capacity for miraculous power. Literally, you're going to walk past people and they're going to begin to go out under the power of God. And it's going to be a sign and wonder that's linked to this house because this will be the house of documented miracles. I said that. And when I say this house, I don't mean this building because you're not going to be here long. Do it. But this will be the house of documented miracles. I'm going to pray for y'all. And literally, you're going to feel the weight and power of God. So I don't know if you want to get behind them. I've never seen this before in my life. I just know what I hear. I'm not even going to lay my hands on you. But literally, you're going to feel the hand of God carve out new capacity in you. The Lord says, if you have faith to believe that the dead will be raised, it will be unto you. And I'm not just saying that to be churchy, but literally, if you will have the faith I prophesy that you're going to be on the speed dial of people who are in crisis. And very many of you will literally get calls and you will speak the word of the Lord and bodies will begin to snap back. Many of you will open up your mouth and you will lose a resurrection power if you have faith to believe it. The Lord says there is no negotiations. You have to go. And for some of you, what has been keeping you from going into this chamber is because you have been considering what you will lose. There's even some of you who have been feeling the pain of misunderstanding because those who have known you for years, they feel like you're becoming a stranger. But the Lord says if you will resolve it in you tonight, 
she says, I'm going to take you where you've never been before. But you can offer no resistance. So this is not an emotional thrusting. This is a sober decision. You got to decide if you're ready. Because if you're ready, power is available. Next is available, but you have to decide your way in. Are you ready? Man of God, are you ready? 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 Are, I know, are you ready? Okay. So what I want y'all to do is I want you to stand to your feet and I want you to point your hands in their direction because these are the men and women of God who not only hold up the arms of the bishop but they also tend and they pray for your souls they serve you what better way to pay it forward than to pray them through. Yes? They're going to start praying, y'all. We're going to start praying in the Holy Ghost. And I'm telling you, as sure as I am bow-legged and bald-headed sitting on this stage, that you are going to feel the power of God hit you in a way that you've never felt before. It is going to be the weighty presence of God. Go with him. And this visitation and encounter that you are going to feel in just a moment, it's going to give you the strength that you need for the next leg of the journey. You have to exit this level. You, you have to exit this level. Beyond music ministry, pastor these people. Now, if I'm wrong, you know. Shepherd them. You have to exit this level. direction and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost come on charge this atmosphere come on come on charge this atmosphere of prayer. Mantles of prayer that your grandmothers had. Oh yeah. Come on, pray. Come on, y'all, pray. Come on, pray here. 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 Come
Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for these preachers. And Father, just as Paul prayed for Timothy, his true son, Father, I'm asking that you will begin to fan the flames of these preachers in the name of Jesus. Father, I'm asking that you will begin to stir up the gift within them in the name of Jesus. Father, gifts of prophecy, gifts of healing, Father, gifts gifts of faith, gifts of miracles, gifts of tongues. Father, I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you will begin to do an unusual thing in them. Father, I'm asking that you will charge them like electricity. Father, I'm asking as your prophet that you will pull them, pull them out of the low places, pull them out of those graves, graves of disappointment, graves of misunderstanding. Father, I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you will strip their taste buds of disappointment of the last season. And I'm asking that you will anoint these preachers afresh in the name of Jesus. And Father, even as Ezekiel stood in the valley of dry bones and he prophesied to the winds, I prophesy to the four winds, the north wind, the east wind, the west wind, the south wind, and I prophesy, blow into these preachers, resuscitate them, resuscitate them, breathe again, says the Lord, breathe, 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 I sever the influence of Python that has these preachers feeling like they can't catch their breath. Father, we sever the head of Python and we say breathe, breath of God, resuscitate them, resuscitate them, resuscitate them. Now God, after you breathe in them, bestow power upon them out. Power, power to cast out devils. Power to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Power, 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 power. The weight of God is hitting it now. There it is. Go. There it is. Go. There it is. Go. 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 Out of your belly. Out of your belly, Deshaun. Out of your belly. Go. 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 Go, 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 so put your hand on his back, come on, pray for these preachers, go, 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 power, 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 there you go, man, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, now, can you pray for them? Come on, pray for the preachers here. Pray for the preachers here. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that these preachers will not buckle and they will not succumb to compromise. But we're asking God that you will strengthen them in the inner man. And we thank you that you're calibrating their pace. We thank you that you're fine-tuning their eyesight, 
their ears in the name of Jesus father we thank you that even now you're charging them let their hands burn with healing fire let their hands burn with healing fire and we prophesy that you will lay hands of the sick and they will recover stir the gift stir the gift stir the gift stir the gift now you may not be a preacher but you know that there is a gift of God in you will you extend your hands to heaven and say God stir self-activating self-activating not by might not by power but by my spirit says the Lord you need his spirit that's what's going to carry you the days are dark, beloved, but it's his spirit that's going to keep you. The Bible says that God went up before them with a shout. We're going to get out of here, but I need you to blow the roof off of this place. If you believe what you have prayed, that you not only were heard in heaven, but that the heavens are indeed open and that there is a harvest that is ripe for you to grab. I need you to open up your mouth and I need you to shout with a voice of triumph. Open your mouth here. Remember we said that the last praise was the last time. So come on and shout from this new place. Shout from this new victory. Shout from this new peace. Shout from this new healing. Throw your voice like an arrow and shout. We often hear, we often hear about intercessory responsibility. But one of the things that the Lord told me to do was to trigger intercessory reward 
in this house. There are spoils for the intercessor. How dare you put yourself in the line of fire to pray for, fight for, whomever, and there's not a reward for you? That's played. Intercessory reward. As you were shouting, what is that? EB. E B O E B O N E B O N I What is that? Ebony? Okay. Let this be the last time that you resist. the weight of responsibility. You have been passing the buck of responsibility. You actually should have been up here with those preachers. But that's cool. because I'm going to toss it to you. It's okay. Let this be the last time, Ebony, that you pass the buck of responsibility. You keep asking who's next, you. Who, who's going to change that you? What about doing this, you? Well, what if we put this, you? So in the name of Jesus, I declare that the power of God is hitting the place of your esteem. And every place that the spirit of fear is trying to rob you of inheritance, I bind it now in the name of Jesus. And Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you that you're breaking the record of what they said. I hear chatter around you. But Father, in the name of Jesus, clamp the jaw of the enemy. Fear will not rob you another day of your life. But Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I apply prophetic pressure on Ebony to become. You got to become, girl. For behold, the whole of creation waits in earnest expectation for the appearance of the sons of God. By reasonable deduction, that tells me that creation has no responsibility to change until a son appears. Show up. Show up. Ooh. And in the name of Jesus, I see puzzle pieces. So every place and every space that your heart is, Father, I speak now that there be a consolidation of her heart. And every piece of your heart that is with people who have exited your life, we call your heart back to you now in the name of Jesus. 
because you got to go into the new place with your whole heart. For the last person who verbatim told you that you were damaged goods, the devil is a liar. You are not damaged goods. Do you hear what I said? You are not damaged goods. Goods. And because what they said has been so lodged in your soul, you have not allowed yourself to be loved in the way that you deserve. You're not damaged goods. Heaven is demanding that you become. As sure as I'm looking at you, you are a preacher. Fear will not rob you another day of your life of inheritance. Lift your hands here. Can you stretch your hands in her direction? Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for your daughter. Father, I thank you for her life. I thank you for her purpose. I thank you for everything that is pertaining to her. Now, Father, I'm asking something crazy. I am asking, Father, that as she lifts her hands in surrenderance to you, Father, I pray that you will transfuse her with my history with you. Father, I pray that you will catch her up in the spirit. Father, just as she sat in her seat and Literally, her spirit leaped. Because you asked it in your heart, woman of God, I'm asking that the Lord give it to you. The same fire, the same intensity that you saw tonight Because of your faith, let it be unto you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will give her encounters. Father God, let her have visitation. Father, I even pray that you will submerge her into rivers of revelation. Father, allow the scripture to come alive to her like it never has before in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you will unlock mysteries. Finally, Father, I'm praying that you will, you will ignite the breaker's anointing on the inside of her. Ignited in her father. And father, as I connect my faith with hers, 
let it be unto you according to your faith. Can y'all lift your hands, point it to her direction, pray in the Holy Ghost. Let it be unto you according to your faith. You receive, you receive. So Father, do it in her now. Father, ignite her now. Yeah. Now as an act of faith, I need you to walk, take steps towards me. Walk into this river. Stay with her. Never the same. Do you hear me? Never the same. You're going to feel the power of God hit you. Never the same. No going back. No consulting former seasons. Become Ebony. Come on. No intercessor left behind. Hallelujah. Intercessory reward. That's what I said, right? Final thing that I'm going to do and then I'm gone. The Lord is stretching out in your confidence. And this day, the Lord increases your authority. Literally, I wrote in my notepad and my iPad. I'll show you later. It says, Lady Ashley. Matter of fact, open it. See Lady Ashley, let her read that. Now, since y'all, I just, I don't want y'all to think I'm lying. Can you read what it says? And then we'll give her the word of the Lord. Heaven opens up new confidence in you. See, seer. What has been keeping you from seeing at the level that you need to? Is the enemy has been bullying you with the men in your family? I see two men standing behind you one on the right is kind of shadowy and I feel like he's not here anymore. Then there is another man that is on your left and I see him with silver hair which makes me feel like it's a father figure or a father. The enemy has been trying to bully you 
with the men of your family. Whoever this shadowy guy is on the right, the absence of his presence literally, literally tried to rob you of your sanity. And you have not been seeing because it hurts too much. So the enemy thought that he would bully you and literally grieve you out of the place of purpose. The man on the left which I perceive to be the father figure, I feel like there are some irregularities in that man's body that has been weighing on you. And the enemy has been even attempting to torment you in your sleep because you feel it's almost as if you dream or have these premonitions that you're burying this man. But the Spirit of the Lord says, weeping may endure for a night, joy comes in the morning. Prophet Ashley, I came to announce Two simple words. Good morning. And I declare in the name of Jesus that you will not grieve yourself into an early grave. And even this week, I feel like it was Tuesday, you had anxiety. And this anxiety visits you because you say, Lord, I don't want my children to grow up without their mother. This weight of anxiety literally feels like you're, you're, you're constricted, like you can't breathe. Woman of God, you're not going to make your husband a widower. You have been so shell shocked because of grief that it's hard for you to really enjoy life. Not that you're depressed per se, but you always feel like you have to brace yourself for impact. The gotcha gotcha is the, sh the shirt, I. I, did I see that here? It said brace for impact. Something said brace for impact. The gotcha gotcha is you have been bracing for impact. But it's the wrong impact. So just as the spirit of the Lord met Elijah under that juniper tree and told the man of God to rise and eat. Prophet, it's time for you to rise and eat. Ooh. 
the enemy will not bully you out of purpose another day of your life. So by faith, I restart the conversation that you've been having with the Father. And you've really been ignoring him, kind of do not disturb the Father. I get it. My focus is on all the time. But I want to restart the conversation that the Father has been having with you concerning the nations that are inside of you. Release your husband to push you in the way that he desires to push you. Prepare, woman of God. Renew these passports, Hidi Asai, get that all together. Even prepare the organization of your ministry. Because there's more organization from an entrepreneurial standpoint. But because the enemy has been trying to bully you and punk you, you haven't really organized for ministry as you should. Green light, do that. Because I prophesy to you that the season is getting ready to place a demand on your sound. And I prophesy to you that there will come a time where you literally have to turn away bookings and engagements because the demand will be so high. Hear me by the Spirit of God. There is a place in you, and this is the last thing I'm going to say to you. There is a place in you, in your heart, that is specifically earmarked for the wives of CEOs. Because in your mind, I hear you saying, people always talk about the business owner, but what about his wife? You are about to be sought after. Do you hear me what I say? Not just for your preaching prowess, not just for your prophetic authority, but for your mind and your heart of sobriety. Become. Become. Grief will not rob you of your inheritance. Grief will not bully you out of your assignment. So can you do me a favor and can you extend your hands to heaven? And worship the Father specifically for the reason that your first lady is becoming.
Let your worship water every seed that has been planted in her heart. She prays for you. Come on and worship the Lord for her. Let her know that she has an army behind her. Woman of God, it's not too late. It's not too late. Come on, worship. It's not too late. You still have time. You still have time. You still have time. And whatever this bullying of premature death that's been trying to whisper in your ear that you're going to check up out of here before your time we bind the hand of the enemy and we speak life and in Jesus name we forbid sickness and infirmity from attempting to manifest in your body And I declare that the glory of God is radiating through every system of your body, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Father, thank you. Live. Live, girl. This anointing wash over you. Not only will she live, you're gonna live. You're gonna live. You're gonna live. And you're gonna have the life that you want. You're going to have the life that you want. Not only will you have the life that you want, you won't have to settle to get it. So, Father, everything that is pertaining to her, I thank you, Father, that you're pulling it into divine alignment. Money alignment credit alignment you've been watching your credit too and it's been giving you anxiety you have everything that you need live 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 girl. Live. Some of y'all are going to go home and go to sleep and sleep the best sleep that y'all have slept all year. The torment of insomnia is broken by the power of God. 
It is not the plan of God for you to be stressed, duress, uneasy. He gives his beloved sweet sleep. Live. So as we transition, just lift your hands and drink this wave of his spirit. Bask in it. His presence should be tangible when you come out of prayer. going to be moments where waves of glory travel through this place. Record what you sing because there is a sound that is supposed to be going out of this house. A recorded sound. And it's lit you're going to write entire albums in the flow of glory. If I am lying, please go on social media and say that bald-headed, bow-legged girl, she, yeah, she off. I'm telling you what I know. You're going to document the sound of this house. And the sound that you document, you're going to leave it not only as a legacy, but an inheritance for generations to come. So I just believe if you lift your hands and worship, y'all may just write the first song tonight. Live. Come on, loose your worship, live. some of you this is a bit uncomfortable because we're so used to driving moments in the presence of God but the Lord is teaching you how to journey with him he's teaching you how to experience the ebbs and flows of his spirit you don't have to always say something in his presence truth of the matter is he might want to say something to you but you've been over talking him let him sing over you tonight come on worship him now unto him who is able to keep you from falling present you faultless with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory majesty dominion and power both now and forever it is so come on worship live 